I'm really excited about this video because I'm about to teach you how you can paint the best miniature every time you paint a miniature. Hey ho fellow plastic painter and welcome to Paint a Plastic People. My name is Charles and if we're just meeting for the first time, I help beginner miniature painters learn to save time and money by teaching them to paint fast and effective. All right, so I want you to lean in real close for this and listen up, like really listen up, right? The way you paint the best miniature ever every time you sit down at the table is that you paint the miniature that you're happy with. I know that's mind blowing, right? Paint the miniature you're happy with. Like, Charles, like, what do you mean? Well, what I mean is you gotta find that level of miniature quality that you're happy with. So for instance, for me, Generally, my happy with a miniature, my perfect miniature, my best miniature, is the miniature that is fully painted, is on the table, and is being played. It's getting in some game time, it's getting in some rep time, it's not sitting on my counter you know, of shame, just puddled in with everybody else, just waiting to be painted. I think miniature painters and artists in general kind of get wrapped up in their heads sometimes that they, want to do the best thing ever. They want to blow everyone away. They want to blast everyone out of the water. They want to show everyone how good they are or how far they've come or how much they've improved. And that's great. If that's what makes you happy, then that should be the quality you're shooting for every time. But the thing is, you're going to be chasing that dragon all the time, right? You're going to be constantly trying to outdo yourself every single miniature and that's going to wear you out and you're not going to want to paint miniatures after a while. You're going to experience burnout and it's going to suck. But if you find a quality level that you're like, I like hitting this and this makes me happy, then that's the best miniature you could paint. For me, I know in about two hours, if I'm just painting like a single miniature or maybe up to four hours, I know that's the amount of time I wanna spend on a miniature. I don't wanna spend any longer than that. Even sometimes if I'm batch painting miniatures, that's the only amount of time I wanna spend. I know the quality I'm gonna hit, that what I consider tabletop standard or whatever, right? Like everyone's is different. But I know when I hit that level, I'm happy with it. I don't need to go pushing my skills to the limit. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do want to push my skills to the limit because I want to see what I can do. How much can I improve? How much can I make this miniature really pop, really stand out? And there's nothing wrong with that either. But I'm just saying that chasing that high all the time isn't the best way to go about things because you're going to experience that burnout. I also see a lot of people online, and I've done this myself too, who want to put out a miniature and you want to impress people. You want a bunch of likes, you want a bunch of upvotes, you want a bunch of hearts or whatever, right? You want that satisfaction of people being like, you did great. The thing is, you should actually aim to make yourself happy first. And then everything else is just great. If you're happy with your miniature and you post the pictures of it online and someone's like, well, you could have done this a little better and that blend's not the greatest and you could have pushed the highlights a whole lot more, then you're gonna be like, well, whatever, that's your opinion, but I'm happy with what I did. And you're just gonna let that roll off your back. Whatever, that's their opinion, right? Or it goes the other way too. And someone's like, you did awesome. That was great. You did so good. That blend's so smooth. Those highlights are so prominent. I love it. This is so good. And you're like, thanks. I'm happy with it too. It's just gravy on top of things, right? So I want you to get that into your head. Paint to make yourself happy. Paint to get to your happy spot with a miniature. You don't have to be over the moon with it. You don't have to be absolutely ecstatic with every miniature you slap down but paint it to where you're happy with it and you're not gonna be worried about negative feedback online. You're not gonna be worried about your friends coming over and being like, well, I painted the same thing, but I did way better than you. Like, whatever, man, like, get over yourself. So that's how you paint the best miniature ever, every time. If you enjoyed this video and got any value out of it, hitting that like button helps out a lot. Let me know in the comment section down below. That's awesome, I love to read comments like that and I try to respond to everybody if I can. You can subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you never miss a video because I'm always breaking down different techniques you could incorporate into your miniatures to help get you to a level to where you're happy with every miniature you paint. I'm also doing different videos on how to save you money so you're not breaking the bank trying to do things that you don't have to do or buying products that you don't have to buy. 
You can share this with somebody else who is constantly chasing that dragon, trying to paint the best miniature every time they sit down and they're running themselves ragged. It might do a lot of good for them, you never know. But the most important thing to remember is to get it to the table and have a good day.